Yeah. Like this is the movie. <laughs> Do you have dreams? You know, I dream a lot when I don't smoke weed. They say weed takes away your dreams. Yeah, I used to have this repeating dream when I was a kid. Um, it was like a night of terror. It was like a night like every day, it's kind of the morning, I think. You know, I fall off the building, I'd be falling. I hit the ground, and I wake up. It was like every day. Mm -hmm. um, it's when I was living in like kind of an abusive house all the time. So mm -hmm. I did some research on like dream therapy and shit like that. You know, and they were saying like, uh, you know, usually people have those type of dreams like occurring. Like, they don't like kind of on some like suicidal. Mm. You know, very sad, depressed shit, you know, childhood. But, you know, I think it's very beautiful, autistic. It's like, you know, it's like a fresh start. <laughs> I say that, um, to fly you must fall. Yeah. Not to make it all dark, but you know, it's just a dream, man, you know. I mean, they say life is a dream when you wake up in the night. Um, what is time? <coughs> well, I mean, time, you know, time is like... Time can either be a concept made by man or, you know, actually the solar system, you know, revolving around the sun. I don't know what time it is. I don't know what time it is. And the time that they say it is, I don't know if that's the time. You know, in a lot of cultures, they just, you know. I've been told that the pygmy cultures, you know, like in the Congo, you know, they don't look at time the same way because that builds stress, it creates anxiety and shit like that. You know, when the sun is up, what do they gotta do? They gotta get food. Maybe go to the water and they, you know, they just do what they do with their day and shit, you know. But, you know obviously, we live in a capitalistic world, so. Time is beautiful, though, you know? <laughs> what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for time. I'm grateful for age, you know? I'm grateful for How old are you? I'm 25, <laughs> I think. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, man. Remember when I was in elementary school, we had, like, uh, one of those special guests, like, coming to the school, you know? How they do that? The guy was like a, um, who was the dude who crossed the Twin Towers, you know, remember that guy? Mm. Crossed the Twin Towers, like, and, you know, he didn't even know his birthday. Like, he was just like, you know, he believed in like such a way of life, you know. It was very inspiring. It was very interesting that he chose that guy, though. Always, you know, it was just that changed the way I looked at life after that. And then I watched the towers fall actually too, which was kind of crazy. How old were you? Uh, I was like four. Was four. You remember it? Yeah, I just remember them falling. I thought it was a TV, but I was on like the 40th floor in Midtown. So I saw that shit. Hmm. Do you believe in God? Damn, bro. 
question. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was in, um, <coughs> I remember it actually, I remember like Obama was running at the time. And I loved my science teacher at the time. And I was an atheist, you know. But I believed in God before that. It was just that one year for some reason when I was an atheist. But yeah, man, I think, I, you know, I, it's not like, I don't think there's a white guy in the sky, you know, but I think the universe is like, you know, what they call God. Maybe Mother Nature is like, that's his lady. I don't know, man. I don't know. But all I know is that, you know, I think there's God in everything, you know, with life. And with his life. Even when there's not life, like the car, like anything. All of these particles, all these molecules, everything you see is God. I think. You know, that's just what I believe. My babysitter, my first babysitter, Monica. Damn, man, Monica. Just to read the Bible to me. And I just listen to the stories. And it's really beautiful. But then my grandpa was Muslim at the time. So he showed me all these mystical movies and books and stuff, you know, the Quran and stuff like that. And be praying. So I just saw that the best of what these two. Very spiritual worlds, you know what I'm saying? It was cool. Mm. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, man. Just open my eyes, you know. It's cool. When you think of God, um, or when you think of heaven, what do you see? I mean, I see, like, white clouds and pearly beats, you know? And, like, Zeus waiting for me at the door or some shit, you know? Because that's where I would been indoctrinated I, you know, but you know I don't know where I see like everything I ever wanted like a mansion you know I don't know mm. uh, what's something new you've learned what's something new I've learned yeah Classical music, new classical music mm. from um, Shaheen, I'm saying. Yeah. What's Shaheen. your favorite song you've learned? Um, <clears throat> well, I, you know, I, I can't remember the name of my favorite one. What's it go like if you remember it? I can't remember. Mm. But, but I like this one <laughs> that he downloaded and he gave it to me so I could sample it. I read that. It's like a very well known composer. Mm. Um, I don't really know a lot of the stuff, but that shit is fire. And the shit that we made, the work, the work of art that we made, is really fucking cool, man. You know? So I'm excited to put that out in a little while. <clears throat> mm. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> um. What's your favorite color? You know, I like to say purple. Um, but I think it's actually green, you know, mm -hmm. for nature. It used to be yellow. What about you? Blue. Blue? Like that color blue right after the sun sets. Mm. That's mm. my favorite color. Mm. Where it, it almost glows. It's like, hmm. It can make me cry. <laughs> I like the sunrise. I like that. Um, mm. When's the last time you watched the sunrise? Oh, man. Damn. I want to do that shit soon, man. I don't know, man. Damn. I want to go to the beach. A bunch of homies and shorties. Mm. Uh, good time. Make some music. Play some music. Watch the sunrise. Trip out. Mm. Should be dope, man.
Um, what's a meal you think of that reminds you of home? Well, damn, I've had so many homes. Mm. Fuck. But I think my favorite, you know, <clears throat> because of the person who's cooking it, was like a chef for a little bit. She was a caterer for a little bit. For who? For who? You said? A caterer? She was a caterer for a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. She was right. a caterer. A chef. But she used to make, you know, she's really into health. And my dad is like, not too much. Mm. So I used to go to my dad's and get my stomach all fucked up. And go to my mom's and she's like a healer, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She's like one of those moms. Yeah. So she used to make me like these stews and stuff like that. You know, I used to like, and and all that. Did you have a favorite meal she would make? Just like these stews with a bunch of vegetables mm. and like beans and legumes and like just good stuff. Mm. Have you ever tried to make it? Yeah, I've made it a couple times. It was never like how she does it. Mm. She got that good stuff. Mm. I haven't seen her in a long time. I miss her. Mm. It's all good. Though. It's good. If you could say something to your mom right now, what would it be? That's the deep. If, 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 Huh? I'm I guess I'll see you soon. Mm. Mm. It's Yeah. Where are you going from here? Where am I going from here? And what led you here? What led you here? <coughs> well, I'm from here, you know. I'm from, <coughs> I'm from the city. <coughs> so, you know, the past couple of years, you know, <coughs> there's a movement starting, you know, with the youth culture in New York City right now, especially in the East Village, you know? So, and my family's from LES, you know, a lot of my family's from LES. You know, my dad's side of the family is the first place they ever came to in America, you know, from Puerto Rico. <clears throat> now there are islands like that, so, you know? This is like, most of just what I know, like just who I am, you know, this is like just me, you know, until I branch out really, you know, into more of the world and shit like that. This is what I have to work with. I, this is what I have and have to work with to a degree, you know, which is beautiful. And it's hard right now too, for a lot of people, you know. There's a guy I just met actually in the pizza shop. Um, <clears throat> he's making a documentary on you know, like, crazy rent right now. Mm. Mm. So yeah, I'm just waiting for that, you know, I want to help him out with that. So, you know, that's all I What's this one called? You know, I mean, I just named like each just off of like the first thing that comes to my head. Right? Mm. So I think I just call it 3D every time. 3D? Mm. But I want to call it like trans, like, like existential trans, like space, you know, mm. shit. I don't know what the fuck to call it. I like it.
This is crazy. This is literally a movie. I said this is literally a movie. <laughs> the video is a crazy art form. Like it's, it's my favorite thing. Like I love music. Actually, I don't have a favorite thing. I like everything. <laughs> Do you want to try it with the camera? And you can like flip around the thing before you see. You have it this way, so you see this. Oh uh, shit. <laughs> This is all on logic? Yeah, it's on logic, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna have to show you this other NYU building too. Cool. They're like max in there. Cool, and you, cool, they have cool. like many people. I don't know how to use the shit. But I can, I can get you in here, yeah. Cause I don't know how to use What it. type of programs do they have, bro? I think they have a bunch. Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> but again, I think, I can show you how to use all of it, bro. Okay, bad. I'll bang. show you how to all use right, all let's of it. Alright, do it. Cool. Nah, God, it's good. Yeah, man. Like, sure. I, I was talking... A couple of weeks ago, I ran into this dude who I had met once before randomly. I seen him in the park. He's kind of like on his shit, but like in the best way possible. Um, and I ran into him like two weeks ago before I went to ornithology for the first time. Okay, good. And, um... He was just telling me like about the idea of time travel. Yeah. And how we would never know if time travel is real. But like just how it, <clears throat> it's almost certainly real. And it's like not in the way maybe movies make it seem, but right. just like right, 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 right. all time right. existing at once. Right. And constantly being altered by right. different versions of yourself. Um, and at one point, fuck, I'm trying to remember. There was something said. There was something said. Um, and it was the truth, whatever it was. Oh, like, what is the likelihood? He asked me what I think is the strangest thing about our existence. Like, what's the strangest thing, the most magical thing? And I say the most magical thing is the people who I bump into during a day. Because it's like, I never know who I'm going to be interacting with and what they're going to bring into my life. Yeah. Or what, like, I might bring into theirs. And it's like, yeah. you have no idea what the next day holds or what the next yeah. second. Like, it's like, some, we get struck by lightning. Yeah. Or someone can come and give us a billion dollars. Yeah. Or we get... Like we get hit by a car, and it's like you never know what's next, and it's just you keep on holding on and trusting. And like, if yeah. people just come and when you're walking in the right direction, yeah. you start to find other people walking that direction too. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like you're less afraid. It's like I had this experience. I was in the woods back home. I'm from Pennsylvania, 
and it's like there's a lot of woods there that not many people go out. <laughs> yeah. I like to explore. Like I, I always go in the woods. And one time I was out there and I was just surrounded by trees. Like I didn't know which direction to go. And I, it was getting late. My phone died. And I was like thinking, I was like, fuck, there could be bears, fucking lions, like literally praying on me right now. Like I'm this fool. And then I realized I was like by water too. And I'm like, fuck, there could be snakes. And I'm just imagining like this great predator coming and be having this. I want to film this actually. Ooh, would you want to act in it? All right, wait. I need to think about the like how I'm gonna represent the predator. And I had this idea for a film where a kids in the wilderness and interacts a uh, like invasive species, like something that's not supposed to be there. Like imagine walking down the street and you just come face to face with a king cobra. Like what would you do in that situation? Back the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like the ones that can spit in them too. Like, but. Long story short, that's where my mom was going in the moment when I was in the wilderness. And then I was like, that was a nice transition. Maybe too, so I was just big. Oh, I was in the woods thinking anything could happen. And then I just was frozen in fear. Like, I was frozen in fear, just like, fuck, standing there. And I'm like, okay, now I'm making it more likely something's gonna happen to me by not moving forward. And I'm like, either I need to go back and figure out the way I came, or I just need to walk for it. And I was like, let, let me just breathe. So I took a few deep breaths. I looked up at the sky. I could see the sky. And I looked around, and I realized, oh, there's water over there. So I said, let me walk towards the water. I walked to the water. And I was just like, this is the most beautiful thing. It was so beautiful. Like, my eyes can still see it. And I was like, I was so stressed, and this is right in front of me. And I was like, let me just keep on walking and like take it in. Yeah. And I realized the trees had, some of them had paint on them, like blue paint. So there's literally a direction Word, like, yeah, for sure. me. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, this is, if this isn't a metaphor for life, it's like you need to keep moving forward and trust. And it's like, you're not gonna have the painting on the fucking tree. But then once you trust, you see the painting. Like, but we, we walked through the world. And, and I was just in New Orleans visiting family not long ago. And I went in the woods out there. And they're more dangerous in the woods in Pennsylvania because they really have like beast in those woods. And I was walking through and I was thinking, I'm so afraid right now, but I'm like, my ancestors had to run through this wilderness. Like, they ran, and it's like that thing, it's like the way they got black people is by making us forget our ancestors. Like, or just people like exactly. forget our ancestors. Exactly. And, and what they endured and survived and did, it's like when you have memory of that and you know you can do it's like it's like playing the piano like you get muscle memory it's fun, but knowing who you are yeah. you're fucking training your hand on that piano <laughs> and you're gonna play something yeah. like when you know yeah. <clears throat> um because yeah it's like we can do anything we can survive anything i'm done it's still recording <laughs> yeah we can survive anything the song is this I can see this in like a film. Talking about uh, what's that movie you said? In there, Space Odyssey, 2001. Do you have any ideas for films? Word. It's only a matter of time until we show them to other people. Our ideas. You know what's funny is like I was passed down the camera, um, literally, and then also like, met, not literally. My grandfather used to video everything. And it's like, I didn't know this while he was alive, but recently I went through some of his old VHS tapes and stuff. And there's like a recording 
of him at my great grandfather's 80th birthday party, and it's like two hours long. He just videoed the entire party, and it's like it's a movie. Like it's a movie. Like you watch it and you're seeing a story play out and you're learning characters. It was like that's literally what I do, and it was like I was doing it before I even knew he did that. Like, yeah. Do you remember your favorite teacher? First one that came to mind is K. It's who? K. Who was that? She was my third grade teacher. She was cool. What did you like about her? She really helped me. You know, a lot of teachers didn't help me. Mm. What's the, um, what's the song called playing? Uh, rainy days, uh, first thing in my head, you know, it's not a rainy day? Yeah. I like that.